Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, the race is gone, thank goodness, and hopefully won't be returning for a long time. We did end up qualifying, like I said in the last one. We got the little twice-ranked-up epic leprechaun dude. So chances are he's probably going to stay in my storage for a while because I got so much legendary stuff to work on, I can't even think about that right now. Um, so anyway, let's just get right into this because we got a lot of things, a lot of new things. So, you know, actually the best way to do this is just go over to this green up here. All right, let's just start with this. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know what's going on with this. I mean, I'm seeing a big splat page. It's like 120 of this for just 375 gems. Why would I want to do that? I mean, I could... But if those creatures come up for sale, I can buy them for 250 Why would I want to do that? Yeah, let's move on. All right, so we got the, uh, the Easter egg thing is now going. We have to collect five of each of the five different kinds of eggs. You can see the eggs right there. So they have the eggs appearing in Monster Wood every once in a while. But there's also cells of these three individuals showing up. Which is, two of them were the legendaries of the last card flipping event. And of course, Balar was the center of the last race. So, yeah. Basically, if you win, you get two cells a bitch. Um, you know, the thing is that I, um, I think I got two rounds of this this morning because I cleared out Monster Wood and then it said no more. And that's fine. I went back like two hours later and it was open again. And I got a whole bunch more. So... I think I got about 22 of uh, the old man on the dragon. I, th I I didn't do too well with Baylor. The other guy I have him already. I got him at the card flipping one. That's uh, Furial. I think it is Furial. So, yeah, I mean, think about it. You're going to give us a bunch of cells. I'm going to take them because that's how you end up getting these creatures in the end. So if you were actually the top person in your team and you didn't get Baylor, well, you got and you're qualified, of course. Then you got 25 Baylor. So this is like. Wonderful if you can get enough to actually rank him up. It would be hard to do that, but it would definitely help. You know, it would definitely help get closer on the way in case they have another crazy cells event and he happens to show up. So I'm going to be doing this as much as possible because it's also another way of getting the eggs. All right, let's move on. Yes, there is a maze going. We're going to talk about that in detail. You can see that this guy here is the center of it. Uh, is it attacker? What is it? Oh, this is this... It's not actually talking about the maze, it's talking about him. So he's got all kinds of stuff going his way here. Uh, high damage skills, um, some with no cooldowns, of course, those are always good. Um, a 25% chance of killing somebody instantly, which is always a good thing, except, for, except when you're on the receiving end. All right, and uh, can give him triple damage. Okay, self-possession. He can possess himself. Okay, moving on. Uh, then we have this. This is the East. I'm not really sure what's up with this. This is like the eggs thing. Apparently, there's a special egg that can be used as a substitute. A Eggamentium. I I'm guessing this is in case you only get four of one egg that you can maybe substitute this in for replacement. I have no idea how you get it or where it comes up. So, is that it? Oh, and of course, the Easter eggs. And of course, this fellow here. This is the guy I was talking about. Rabuka! Alright, so he is... I think we talk about him in more detail in the next slide here. But uh, anyway, so you have to collect five eggs, five of each. There's already... They're already... They're popping up. We're going to talk about where they're popping up. So anyway, I think the next one is about him. Right, so he can give himself double damage, mechanical hater, zero stamina for that one. And apparently uh, among con random control skills, he can also blow himself up. So you probably wouldn't want to put this guy on defense. Just saying. Yeah, you just saying. All right, I think that's about it in terms of that. So let's just go into here. I'm going to hold off on the um, the maze for a second. Let's talk about the eggs. Now, again, Monster Wood, you know his mind is all emptied out here. So I have some eggs already, but um, there are ways of getting other ones. Uh, oh, and by the way, in regards to the maze... In regards to the maze, the maze runs for two weeks. Okay, first off, the food dungeon, when it finishes loading in, you can see it's got eggs. Okay, so you, you see I'm already moving along in here. So there's a bunch of eggs, actually, here. 
So it's uh, not just for food, it's for eggs. So luckily you don't have to go all the way because that's kind of annoying. But uh, there's definitely eggs in here, so don't forget to go looking in there. And of course, there is a maze coin dungeon. All right, so this is where we haven't seen one of these for a while. But then again, the mazes we've gotten recently have been short and kind of easy. So this one here, of course, yeah, I've you can see I've almost emptied it. I just kind of stopped here so you can see egg, egg, and then lots of coins. So that's kind of what's going on with that right now. Um, there were other um, eggs along the way, so I have a bunch of them already. So let's just uh, step back out. What do I have so far? Let's just go into storage. Let's go into the little thing here. All right, and close that up. Yeah, they're not all together. I, I just kind of like shuffling their order here. I don't know what's on. I have four different kinds, and you can see I have three of one of them, and I have one, I have two yellows and the other one there. So it's coming along. It's coming along. Now, there is some place else you can get eggs, and this concerns me personally a little bit because we're going over now to talk about, uh, not that. We're going here to talk here. All right, so... We have a windmill with teeth. All right, so this is the maze, the Knights and Castles maze. First off, you can already see. Can you see the egg right there between the dragon and Bella? Right there. See an egg? There's also eggs down here. Where is it? They're a little hard to see. There's one on the, on the left there. There's one on the left. And I'm really happy to see cells of him sitting in there, by the way. Whose path is that? That's a blue path. Oh, that's Bella's. Oh, that's too bad. That's just too bad. That's too bad. But there are eggs down here, and I don't know how hard they're going to be to get. I hope that you can get enough to actually complete it without having to... Look, you'll see that that egg is on Bella's path. I'm hoping that that's not actually required. That would, that would kind of suck, just saying. So I'm a little concerned about them appearing on the maze, you know, because, like I said, there's some on Bella's path, and she's going to be really hard to unlock. All right, so let's just uh, let's talk about what we have here. All right, so we have a maze. There's no easy element uh, legendary unlocks in this one. You're going to have to work for your legendaries. And I'm lowering my expectations. My, my uh, hatchery was kind of locked up for a while there, so I was missing one of my major source of generating coins. Mind you, I have 1,568, but you just saw that I went through the maze coin dungeon. Before then, I was having a lot of problems. Just saying. I hope they do that again. They can stick the uh, eggs in there, too, if they want. All right, so let's go through the list here. Okay, yeah, Slayatar. We've seen him so many times. I mean, I don't even know how many of these mazes and, and progressions he's been in, but he's been in a lot of them. If you played the game for any period of time, you have him. This guy... I have him too. He's not as quite old as the other guy. He's all right. I think I did a video on him too. So why should they? They're not so bad, I suppose. No game-breaking type stuff like some of the epics of these days. But uh, it's a good solid one. Does damage if you want to do that. All right. And then we have somebody who is new. At least I've never seen him before. Uh, Penzos. So he's either going to be total crap or he's going to be OP as heck. Right. So anyway, he's magic. He's uh, Earth here. Okay, apparently he's a good superhero who's part of the family. Okay. Welcome, welcome to Monster Legends. All right, so I'm guessing he's like working with the other guy. Maybe he's like his squire or something like that. Okay, no idea what his skills are. All right, then we start getting into the, the legendaries. Um, half of which are new, half of which are old. Er. So, all right, so here we have... What might be the only one I can actually get? I don't know. I'm going to have to... We'll have to see how many coins I have in the end. So anyway, um, Rockagon? Rockagon? I don't know. Anyway, it's a really ugly horse. Is that his mount? Yeah, I get, apparently it's Coyote's mount. Anyway, he also is a good superhero and part of the family. Okay. Yeah, I guess he is too. I guess the big guy is as well. So anyway, he's a legendary, he's light, so uh, somebody in the chat said he's not too great. So I don't know, we'll see about that, we'll see about that. But uh, anyway, he's going to be there. He's the easiest to get because he's only got three um, keys to unlock him. I think everybody else is four. All right, so, so this is V. 
Firina. I don't know if I said that right. Anyway, she's a legendary. She is uh, spiritually female and evil. Yeah, that, that pretty much works. So anyway, she's a legendary. She's fire. No idea. I know she's an older one, but I've never run into her. So I don't really know if she's good or not. Probably is. I've seen her being used by a number of people in fire situations. Guessing she's a damage dealer. I don't really know, though. So anyway, that's another one. I wouldn't mind getting her. Wouldn't mind getting her. I don't have her. I'd rather have her over the horse, if at all possible. But I'm guessing that you'd probably have to move the horse a lot in order to get keys to open it up. So, of course, the next one is, is Bella Bal. She's the one who's sitting up on the top, which is a little unusual. Usually, the new big one they get is the one that's sitting on the top on the right. But this case, he's further down. So, anyway, she's great. I would love to get an upgrade for my Bella. I would love to get an upgrade for my Bella. And I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But, I mean, it really depends on the way it's laid out. I, I would guess, though, you're probably going to have to move the first two in order to get her keys. So, it really depends on how many coins this is going to take, doesn't it? All right, and then we have the big guy on the end, who, of course, like his uh, squire and his steed, are good superhero and families. They're really filling the books today, aren't they? Yeah, they're really filling the books. So, this is Quixote, and uh, I'm, he's a knight. He's metal, which I guess makes sense. That's interesting, actually. His horse is light. His mount is light. And yet, he's metal. Okay, I mean, he is metal. He's got a lot of metal on, and he's using metal, so that's fine. So you saw that before. He's got a lot of stuff going. He's obviously the big prize, so good luck getting that. Yeah, good luck getting that by just uh, saving up the coins. I'm, I'm afraid I may get caught in a situation where I just have to get the horse. If I had to choose, obviously, I'd rather get her because I don't have her. And I'm, Like I said, I heard the horse. He's not too good, so... We'll see how that works out, but uh, it's something that uh, I'd like to get. And, of course, this is going to be, um, it's good. So it's, we still have two, 12 and a half days left, in this. a little bit more than 12 and a half days left on this. So that's all right. I just hope that, um, I hope the eggs are not as hard to get as, the, you know, this one over here. The one that's on Bella's path, that one really concerns me. That one really concerns me. And it's also same that this is there, too, next to it. I'd like that to be on an easier to get path, you know, especially since we're getting um, cells for him now in Monsterwood. Um, I, di I, I didn't get him in the uh, uh, the card flipping event too. Maybe I should have gone for him, got as close as I could, and maybe had enough gems to pick him up. Yeah, you can only, you only, you never know. I mean, it may have been a good idea. I chose not to do it. We'll see. I haven't even woken up the individual that uh, I got for that yet. So anyway, um, so we got a lot of things on our plate, a lot of things going on. And uh, remember the coins, the coins dungeon, we get the coins dungeon there. You can get the coins by doing little breedings too, and uh, just collecting money and feeding too. Feeding is another one you can do. Actually, I did a lot of feeding earlier. Something kind of worked out for me. Yeah, we're going to actually talk about that later because it's going to come up. So I think that's it. So why don't we just go and talk about war? All right, so we had the rage war in the last one, and uh, everybody on my team basically raged because we got destroyed. Oh, yeah, we got destroyed. Really, really bad. This one should work out a lot better for us because the, the team that we're going across, it's kind of like the reverse of the last one where we didn't really stand a chance against them. They don't really stand a chance against us. So I'm hoping given this is the end of the rage thing, that we can get a lot of coins for this. That would be really good. So I did two attacks this morning, and they were just no problem whatsoever. So let's just go right in and uh, see how we're doing. Okay, that's extremely disappointing. Yeah, that's extremely disappointing. Um, I would like to think that we're going to do better than that. Yes, I would like to think we're going to do better than that. And I'm probably going to do that attack, but not yet. Not yet, not yet. All right, so this is actually one of the stronger teams that uh, that is around. A lot of them, especially at the bottom, are just really, really not good. So we have Darkness, we have Thunder, and we have Epic. So this works out better, of course, than the uh, Rare. So... Um, it also allows me to use a couple of individuals that I like using. So I would, 
I would rather have been able to get, uh, I would like Dark and Light to be in there because I would like to have gotten Al into the fight, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, anyway, so we need to attack more. Hopefully we do. I mean, considering we've only attacked 20 times more than them and we're, frankly, we're horrifying in comparison, they're like not half of our strength, but they're not too far off of it. It's like 60% of our strength. And again, at the bottom, they have a lot of problems. So, you know, they're a young team. They're growing and such like that. But, yeah, guys, could you get out there and attack? I mean, the last couple have been really bad. But, yeah, you know what? There's, there's candidates waiting and patience running out. I want a really high score from this one. Really high score. All right, so let me see. I'm going to save this one for the second round because I have the second team in. So let's see what we have over here. Oh, I actually had a fight with him the last time, and it's I made sure that I killed him first. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about Keithor. All right, let's let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, and that's what we're looking at here. You notice there's, like, no speed at all? That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's just uh, let's do this. Okay, and even... Wow. Even Simon is going before them. He doesn't have any speed. He's getting it from Nautilus, but that is really... That's bad, guys. That's really bad. Okay, you missed Keithor. Don't do that. That's actually really bad because he is very, very annoying. All right. Unfortunately, he's very meaty. See, he can do healing, he can do shielding, he can remove negative status effects. Keithor is very annoying. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to kill him with Master of Pain. Otherwise, that's exactly what I would do. So we're just going to do this and take care of the other fellows. If he's got no one to heal, he's got no one to heal. All right. Uh, you're only going to get two attacks here, so make the best out of them. Yeah, and then Arctic Shot. Okay, excellent. No healing for you. Oh, look out. He's got 350 extra armor on. We're in trouble now. Wow, you're going to go twice. Sucks to be him. Okay, that was the weaker team, by the way. All right, so there we go. Yeah, let's just take a step back to this one now and see what we can do here. All right. Okay, let's change up. All right, first things first, let's go with Nick right on top. Who, of course, now is 105 because he got upgraded. And then we're going with, where is Zap? And then... Where is she's here somewhere? I would I, I was I I didn't get the last one for her, by the way. It was another draconian beast, so I didn't get even though I was trying to get an upgrade for her, I didn't. So I would really like that have happened. I really like that have happened. Alright, let's see. Uh, he's kinda of fast in the front though. This is uh kinda of close, but we do have some support speed here, and I don't see him with any. Alright, so let's do this. Most importantly, I don't see any um most importantly, I don't see any health. So, but dude, seriously, freeze. Don't miss anyone. Okay, excellent. I think we got this now. Okay, so why don't we just start doing a little bit of this? Yeah, I really do want to get rid... Hold on a second, hold on a second. So I'm going to go between that and this. Okay. Well, don't miss, please. Stop the missing. Okay, and... Uh, no, 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 not that one. I keep doing that by habit, but... In this case... I want to use non-thunder damage. Okay, and back over here. Because I want him dead. And then this again. I think he's gone. Okay, and... I'd like him to be dead. I think he is. From the freeze damage, he's probably dead anyway, so... 
Okay, his power has been increased. And he takes damage. Oh, he's not completely dead. He's just mostly dead. Okay, so first thing Chi Chi's gonna do is she's going to be water. Nice little buff. Gets an extra turn. Alright, so why don't you just first do this because it'll give an extra turn. I just want to make sure he's dead. Right, and then we're going to do Deadly Haiku. Um, moderate light damage, but it gives sunburn and bleeding, which is such a wonderful thing. Okay, and I do believe you're just... Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Why don't we just, like, freeze you? Pretty sure you're dead now. But, you know, I think that... Uh, well, okay, actually, you're just dead. All right. So, yeah, I mean, look, look where I was attacking. I attacked six and eight. This one here... This wasn't too bad. This one wasn't too bad. This one here... There's no speed there, you know? So, it's a young team... It's the same thing, we, we, you know, we shouldn't have been against the previous one to a degree, but, you know, this time, I'm hoping we can get in and get some coins, you know, because we got an opportunity here. We have a, let's face it, it's a weaker team than us, and we got a lot of opportunities here to make some coins, so let's just go do some coining, guys, because, you know, the store is going to reset in a couple of days, you know, Monday, I believe, right? So, there might actually be some new bodyguards or something in there, you never know, hopefully. That would be nice. All right, so I think that we've taken care of everything else. So let's take care of the PvP. Because I got some teams. So let's go. Yeah, I've been getting manhandled for some reason here. I mean, they've been going after me hard. So any dreams of uh, going after Legendary is just out the window. And they're just going right after me. No idea what's up with that. All right, let's just change team. But that, of course, does mean we're going to get some more pliable teams, hopefully pliable teams. All right, so our first team was suggested by Savage Jose, and Savage Jose actually wanted to see Bones, so we have Bones. There he is. Um, our next individual, of course, is we're going over to Thunder, and yeah, someone who's waiting for an upgrade, but hasn't gotten it yet. There's a queue, and that's Cloud, and it will not be Ichabod for the final spot. The final spot will be also darkness, but it's a quite a little bit stronger than yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be Simon. Okay, so we do have a bit of a speed issue. So let's see if we can find something that um, yeah, up the middle doesn't yeah up the middle is just probably a bad idea. Actually, they're all kind of a bad idea. There's two Tamarians in there, you know. So I don't want to mess with Tamarians. Let's do what he said. And up the middle, yeah, it just doesn't. It just seems like a bad idea. It seems like a really bad idea. Okay. Um, okay, we're not going to do the Tamarian. I'm thinking either one of these guys. I'm going to do the one on the right. Let's just see how this works out. It, it, it the it the um, the Baba Yaga could be a problem. She's probably going to be fast, and she's probably going to possess us. That would be really bad. She is faster. Yes, this could be a problem. All right, if she does the possession on us, if she gets Simon, we're in a lot of trouble. That's annoying. Yeah, that's very annoying. That's very annoying. Um, luckily, he's the one who isn't blind. Well, I'm going to go for the stuns here. Very lucky there. We got very, very lucky there. All right. I'm going to try to set them on fire. Actually, you know, I should just take the opportunity to do this. Because that means his next attack will actually do double damage and have a better chance of actually hitting with stamina, considering he's blind. I don't know what I'm going to do about Simon. Alright, let's think about this. Um, 
do I want to waste this one now? Well, I mean, I can I can get rid of the one turn of the blindness because I can use Blood Covenant, but he's still going to be blind if he goes in for the next attack. I'm thinking I might just try this. I don't want to waste the, the big one. So I'm going to try this one on Baba Yaga. If it hits, terrific. If not, I didn't waste the big one. All right, see, that's the reason I didn't want to waste the big one. Well, that was rude. Okay, this is working out okay. All right, let's get blindness down. Anyone immune to blindness? Oh, oh, the uh, the the Lord of Atlantis was immune to blindness. Okay, this is gonna hurt, guys. And he's got accuracy on, so cataclysm, moderate fire damage to all. Okay, that worked out very well. You're blind, you can't do anything. Okay, that was not nice. Simon didn't try to do anything to you. That was mean. You have some thunder. Okay, Bones, show them what we do to people who treat, mistreat Simon. He took a bite out of Bella. Okay, and we got some coins for that. That's another way to get coins. Win PvP matches. Not everyone. But some. Oh, I don't want your money. I don't want your money. Okay, so that was a success. Maybe we're down far enough that we can actually get good wins. Although I did see some 115s there, so... Might be doing a refresh. Alright, so that was team number one, and team number one was a success. Team number two was suggested by James Capitola. And James wanted to see... Okay. Uh, this, By the way, James gave me four teams, two of which had problems, and one of which had absolutely no speed whatsoever. So, yeah, I mean, I had to go with this one. But it has a theme. So first, let's throw it together here first. Alright, so we're going over to Metal, and we're going with, of course, Squiddy. Uh, next, we're going over to Water, and we're going to throw Soggy in. And finally, we're going back to water, and then we're going with, where is, he's here somewhere, there he goes, Jeff. Now, unfortunately, Soggy is playing um, uh, Denial today, and he's kind of slow, but believe me, there was no speed at all on the final team. All right, so this, the, the uh, oh, sorry about that, yeah, this is right, actually. The, uh, the theme was SpongeBob, apparently. So let's see what we're going to do. Uh, well, of these, the only one I would fight would be the one on the um, the right, but I don't know if I want to do that. I got two water creatures. I don't want to fight a Voltec. Let's just re-roll. That's just a really bad idea. That's a lot better. Nope. Nope. That's a lot better right there. That's That's, that's pretty bad, actually. Okay, um, I have two Tamarians. I have the Voltic. Up the middle just seems like I, I just don't want to fight one of them. I really don't. If I could see what ruins he has, that would be different. But I got to choose between two Tamarians then. See, if I had some kind of thunder, it wouldn't bother me as much because I might be able to do something about him. Okay, I mean, I got a cryotin over here or a cryotin over here, so I guess we're doing this one on the left. Because I, I don't want to fight that. And I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of fighting at all. I think we're going to be doing a lot of dying. Look at the draw, unfortunately. I don't even care what she does. It's what he does that's going to be the problem. You tried to freeze the one guy who was immune to freezing. Nice. Oh, he reset our cooldowns. Which means he completely sh See, this is the thing. This just destroys uh, a Varuna. Look, I can't do anything for three turns. I can't do anything for three turns. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm charging. Here's hoping a ghost ship comes up. Now what? Oh, you're, oh they're all that way, aren't they? 
Okay, you have a zero cooldown attack. That's a wonderful thing. All right. Metal damage may make bleed or heavy damage. Recover. Oh, recover. Oh, wait a minute. Why do you have stamina? Oh, no. It was resetting cooldowns. Yeah, I was, com I was, conf I was confused. Gaining precision. Which one? Would okay, that one does that damage. I guess it doesn't really matter, except the bleeding would be really nice. That's all. What was the other one doing? Gains precision. All right, precision probably isn't a problem right now. All right. I'm hoping he bleeds to death while he kills... Uh, while he kills Jeff and um, Soggy. Oh, extra power. Isn't that wonderful? At least Soggy's got the extra health. Oh. Yeah, I mean, normally he'd be dead by now. He really wants Soggy dead. Okay. He's nearly there, too. And he is. And so is Jeff. Squiddy stands alone. It's the reason I hate fighting Tamarians. Now, oh, stop time. Okay. Yes, because you're in so much danger over there. Yeah, I think he's dead. He's dead. Mercifully, it's over. Okay, just uh, bad, bad selection of enemies there. That's all. Lots of Temerians, lots of Cryotens. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah. All right, so hopefully we can do better with our last team. Speaking of our last team... Our final team was suggested by Christopher Little. And Christopher picked somebody. I originally dismissed this team like I wasn't going to be able to do it because somebody wasn't actually somebody I wanted to use. Then an egg hatched. So the first individual that Christopher wanted to see was in Earth. And the individual was, okay, whoa, what is that? Oh, wait a minute. Why is that person there? Yeah, because the uh, the the uh, the egg hatched and it had three open ruin slots. So he's able to get Tessa Day because that was the first one he wanted from. The other one, as soon as a spot opens up in Victor's lab, is going to get torn to pieces so that this individual can become stronger. Yeah, unfortunate. It's the roll of the dice. The other one had one open ruin slot. This one has three. Didn't cost me any gems. It's nice to have options like that. And the next individual of this team is someone we actually saw earlier who also has got an upgrade, and that is Nick. The final member of this team is somebody I was terrified of in previous fights, and this is Alp. So, yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. So let's see if we can find somebody that we can actually beat. All right, so up the middle up the middle's dangerous, but, I mean, they're all 100. There's no reason not to do that, right? And I think that's the one I'm probably going to do. All right. Now, I do know that uh, the individuals are very dangerous. I really don't want the, any of them attacking. So hopefully uh, Nick can act. Oh, he can't freeze. That's right. He can't freeze um, cave and fish. And that would be kind of disastrous, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't have any denial about freezing, except, of course, for the mega freeze. Well, he's not going to be able to do anything to Cryoten. So worst case scenario, well, worst case scenario is that Nick's mitten, that he's faster than Nick, and then he can get the other guys, but he's not going to be able to do anything to Cryoten. All right, so let's just try it anyway. Spe who? Okay, wow. Oh, that's... A She's going first. Okay, that's unexpected. Of course, I don't really know what she's got, so that might make a lot of sense. Uh, one way or another, unless they kill Al, they're in trouble. 
Or if they possess him. Oh, that's another problem. What did you just do to him? Okay, he's got a dot on him. All right. Why would you make him the fastest? Her the fastest one, though. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Please freeze the other... Those two. I know you can't freeze cave and fish. Okay, you missed him. That's bad. If he possesses... If he possesses Alp, we're in a lot of trouble. Right. I mean, the thing is, you're not gonna... Okay, you do know there's stun... Oh, he's... Oh, never mind, it's over. I, I don't suppose I could talk you into doing your buff, right? Okay, he's actually charged. He was possessed. I saw he had the possession on. Okay, and he's possessed again. Could you please stop doing that? And he's going to die. There's nothing I can do about it. Because if I... Uh... Except if he did that. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, uh, he actually gets a chance to attack now, which is a wonderful thing. All right, Storm Instigator. Uh... Now, here's the question. Do I do Ground Melter, or do I finish her off? She's about to go, so yeah, I'm finishing her off. Right, I, mean, I think that's the right move to make. Nick's right move. Please freeze him! Oh my... Oh. Are you kidding me? He's gonna possess him again! He took his... Die! Die! Ugh. What's he gonna do now? Freeze them? He, whatever he's gonna do. Yeah, he's, he's gonna kill Alp now. Yeah, he's actually gonna stun them. Oh, wonderful. If you hadn't missed both of the freezes on him... If you hadn't missed both of the freezes on him, you know? Okay, freezing shadow. Uh, it, well, he's going to be dead, but what can he do in the meantime? Poison gift. He's going next, too. All right, um... I'm going I'm going to do, I'm going to do this because I I want him to die. Oh, what come on. What is what is that hardening like 99% hardened? I'd love to do this guy but um, Actually, if I get it down, you probably will die from the dot. All right. Except of course he resisted it. Oh. I, what kind of hardening does he have anyway? And I think he's gonna. Oh, he's he's wonderful. And he's gonna live just long enough to kill Nick. Oh no! Actually, he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh no! Is Nick gonna freeze? Oh, he's just alive. You're not. Oh. Seriously, what is the hardening on that thing anyway? 99%? He resisted like everything. The only thing he didn't resist was the big attack from Alp. That's it. Everything else, he just resisted it. Really annoying. Although I think he missed him completely the first time. I don't think it matter of him uh, um, resisting the, the, um, the freezing. I think he, that Nick just missed him completely. The other times look like resists. Okay, well, we won. Team number three was victorious against all odds. Wow, that was that was an interesting fight, though. That was an interesting fight. All right, so I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, we have a lot of things going. 
Now, remember the um, maze dungeon, the maze uh, coins dungeon. That's only a day. So you don't have multi-days to work with that. That's kind of the reason I charged through that one first. It's because that one's going to vanish. The food dungeon's going to, it's like a three-day one, I think. So you still have time to get the eggs in there. The other one, you want the coin and the eggs. Get the coins and the eggs from the maze coin dungeon. They did it pretty early. I don't know if they're going to do another one. They might do it again just because of the eggs, because they're throwing in ways to get the eggs. I hope that the um, the eggs in the harder places to get in the maze are not required. That would be annoying. I hope that's not it. In terms of that wild card egg, the egg eggamentium, I have no idea where that's going to pop up or what's going on with that. If you do get all the eggs, there will be an, uh, there will be a progression. They've done this before, you know, with Yamada and with Tessa Day too, where you would go through them to get the creature and then to get cells for them so that would be very good to, you got to get five of each of the eggs though you got five of each of the eggs so there may be other ways of them popping up i don't know there might be challenges or something like that dungeons are the most sure thing to look at for usually in, in, in these kinds of situations so anyway um and if you want to get a shot at that rabbit in the uh, the tank that blows itself up it's, it's what rabbits do they're all crazy in case you haven't figured that out yet so anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.